We're gonna fill this tank. What's going on guys? Devin from Reef Deeds. Now today is the day that we're gonna move the shallow reef tank into the lagoon tank. Um, this is all part of my whole tank move thing. So hopefully we're gonna be able to fit all the rock and corals and everything into this tank. Um, be a, hopefully a little tight, but we'll see. This one has more depth, so hopefully we can figure out a cool skate to kind of keep things going for now. And then once I get the new water box tank set up and rolling, we'll eventually move everything over to that tank. So let's start getting to moving. Before this, I'm using the care of sea special grade reef sand. This tends to be one of my favorites, so I always go back to this one. Actually, leave one of these in here for now, and when we dump the water into it. It's gonna kind of, rather than messing up all the sand, it'll kind of sit on top of here. It's a little bit of a pro tip. That's about all I can fill for water for now until I make some more. Um, so what I've been doing, I'm using the Brightwell New Marine Salt, and I'm taking a fresh batch of salt, dumping it into my old tank, and taking five gallons out of my old tank and dumping it into this tank. And I'm doing this so one you get kind of a big water change. And at the same time, it's kind of balancing out the parameters. So for now, until some more water mixes up, and I'll do this again tomorrow. Um, I'll let the bin fill, I'll add salt tonight, we can mix overnight, and in the morning it should be good to go. I'm gonna cut open these clarifiers and mix them in the tank, and I'm gonna throw in one of my Nero's, a small power head, and just let it circulate for now to help clarify the water in the meantime. And then as I have more water ready, I'll start adding more. All right, so I set to constant 30%, so that should keep it nice and peaceful. And this will help mix the water, help make sure that clarifier gets kind of worked in and it'll settle some of those particles in the meantime before I make more water and can do a few more batches. Placement of the scapes could be a little bit of the tricky part, so I just get a few of the main pieces set in and we could adjust it from there. I need a little hitchhiker in that lock. Couple frags, make sure you find a home for afterwards. Now to balance out the extra water volume, I gotta suck some of this water out. And we'll dump this into the tank downstairs to kind of balance things out. So now we're going to take a little break, let things settle, and then we'll go get a few more fish and corals from the shallow reef downstairs. Everything is finally moved in, at least what I could actually fit inside of it. So it's definitely a lot of stuff I kind of had to cram in there to an extent, but the tank looks so packed and it actually looks really awesome. So I'm pretty soaked with how things are turned out. It's like Insta-Tank. Uh, now a lot of the stuff will be transferring over to the water box once I get that set up. Got my little torch garden stuff I'm starting, some of my little torch islands could be super cool. And tons of acros everywhere. Now, we need the top down look in the lagoon is absolutely amazing. Um, we'll see if we can cut the flow later and give you a little peek of it, but it's such a cool view. And I'm just gonna sit my desk working, I got this beautiful view of the tank. Now, of course not everything fit in here, so I did borrow a bit of a temporary tank off my buddy. And over here we have the temporary tank, and this one's kind of my overflow in for my bigger fish until I get the new water box. Um, so looking at the top, we got the AI Prime, just kind of a bit of light for the coral and the fish. And it was the one that I previously was using for frags. We got the good old Nero 5, so this is rocking tons of flow for this tank. Uh, we got some of the Tang Gang. Uh, the yellow Tang I put into the lagoon. And the bigger guys like the Butterfly, the Powder Blue, and everyone else is in here for now. I also got a couple of new fish that are hiding in here, just a couple of dwarf angels, so hopefully these guys are going to play nice with the corals. This is a bit of a test subject in here before I move them over to the big tank. Uh, I do have the Nios reactor for the new tank running in here with just some carbon. And the Toonzy comb line skimmer, looking at that, that baby's just about full to the brim. I'm actually really impressed with this little skimmer. It is full of super dark, nasty skimmate. Not sure if you can see that, but it just magnets itself onto the side of the tank 
and really easy to adjust it. Um, I think actually one of BRS videos there said one this is one of the recommended ones and it's a fairly stealthy little one, super easy to adjust. I'm actually really impressed with it. So I'm using that. I got my little Auto Aqua ATO in here. So this is the temporary setup and you know, not the best. I'm trying to do a five gallon weekly water change on it. Maybe a little bit more, just kind of randomly. But keep everyone happy for a little bit until the new tank shows up and I can move everybody in there. Got lots of biomedia, all this stuff was in my sump for the last few months, so tons of good live bacteria. And same thing, I'll put that in the sump of the new tank once that one shows up, just to bring all that life with it. Always, always lots of work to move a tank, but at the end of the day, it turned out pretty awesome. Um, the only coral I did lose, this actually happened right before I moved, it was the red dragon. Absolutely everything else has been perfect and fine, which is good. We went with the lovely blue plumbing on here. Uh, for flow, I'm using two MP40s, so the Ecotech Marine MP40s, there's one of those on each side of the overflow box. And all my power boards, the Ecro controller, all that stuff's on the back of there. So I did leave a bit of a gap so I can still reach my hand in there and pull stuff out if needed. Now below the tank, um, for this I'm using the Kimura F4 Pro Doser. And I'm testing out the ESV Bionic. I've never used this one before, but a lot of people I've filmed their tanks use it and love it. So I figured that'd be a good one to try out on this one. Um, on the doser, I also got some easy SPS from Evil Reef. So I'm kind of curious to try that out too. It's a bit of a phytoplankton dosing supplement. So I put that on the doser and this is dosing in the middle of the day up. Um, for the filtration, I believe I showed you guys this one in the last video. But we've got the nice blue and white plumbing. Comes down into the eShops Color Series sump. This is the Aquas, a nice lovely blue. I uh, did a little bit of a hacking and modifying and made the Clarity filter roller fit into it. Uh, next chamber over, we got a little bit of Biomedia and the NIOS Torque. And the last chamber here, we got our heaters, we got the NIOS 160 skimmer, a bunch of Biomedia, I got all the probes on the side here. And right beside it, we got the eShops ATO container. And inside of there, I got the little Auto Aqua ATO. And the sensor, you can kind of just see it's right on the gates right there. Um, above on the back wall, we got the Vectra M2 return pump. We got my two MP40s and the Elkatronic. So I have the Elkatronic testing every 10 to 12 hours. So I've been slowly tweaking that, just trying to get this dialed in. It's almost stable, so pretty close. For fish in the tank so far, we got the two-part clowns. We got the Zero Damsel. We have a Chroma somewhere in there. We got the yellow Midas Blenny. Kind of hiding, but it's right over in there. We got the yellow tang, a bunch of snails, and I added a little Tomini tang that's very, very shy and seems to hide most of the time. So hopefully it gets a little braver as time goes on. But so far, yeah, really digging the tank. Everything in there is super happy. It's been up and running for about a week now. So I def it looks wicked how packed it is, but it's definitely a lot of stuff going on in there. So some of the stuff is definitely going to move out into the new tank once it's up and running. I'll add some fish first, then I'll start with some LPS, then we'll work our way up to the acros once we know everything's all settled and happy. For the mesh top, we have the DD Jump Guard Pro. Love this top. Uh, the Pro version has black mesh, which I highly recommend because you don't get all that glare like you do on some of the clear mesh. So loving it. Overall, it's a pretty sweet setup. A little bit of chaos to move the tanks, but overall I think everything turned out pretty darn well. So if you guys enjoyed this, if you did, hit that like button. If you're new, make sure you subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.